Hello and welcome back to my let's play on Total War Free Kingdoms with Liu Bei on Legendary Difficulty, our last time we left off. We were just kind of going south, taking everything on the way. Um, the first episode has now finally uploaded. It's uh, It's been up for almost a day. It's done really well. I'm happy with it. I've also uploaded the first faction overview, which was on Liu Bei as well. That's done quite decently as well. Not as good as I was hoping, but better than I was expecting. So it's kind of like a <laughs> weird scenario. It's, I'm happy, but I'm not happy. Anyway, it's it's fine. Um, hopefully it's going to get some traction over time. But if you haven't seen it yet, there is, may be a link in the description if I remember. Maybe not. Just find it on the channel. It's actually on the main page of the channel. I put it there too. Anyway, on to the actual game. So, last time we left off, we were planning on uh, moving you towards the fishing port of Donghai to take that. There's probably nothing in there, so that should be a fairly straightforward take. I thought I could reach this place, but maybe I couldn't. So, I think I'm not going to bother going there. I'll just actually move here. Um, just replenish on the way, because we can't reach into the town anyway. So there's no point trying to go there first, because we might as well get here in, like, three turns, basically. Um... We have, oh wow, we destroyed every building here. What was I planning on doing here? Uh, food, definitely food. Okay, so I don't know what I destroyed here. Oh, actually, you won't know. I had the message, but I, I deleted it. <laughs> I just assumed that it was fine. Um, I, let's just do this battle first, because this should be just straight up uh, all of us over here. Uh, attack. Don't want to annex that place. Attack, I said. God damn it! Alright, yeah, that's uh, not going to be a battle. Lose less than 100 men. That's fine. Occupado. Hey, there is an actual army belonging to the Han Empire. That's interesting. It's a very small army, so it shouldn't be able to do much. This is walled, plus the Attic Garrison be able to deal with that. Um, okay, so here's uh, a thing. We've met this guy now. Uh, Liu Yao, who I guess also, since, you know, prefix Liu... Um, well, that would be his last name then, but yeah, the family name is Liu, so he's probably family of mine as well. We gain Defiant. Expertise, Resolve, minus 5% attrition to hostile forces. Um, and plus, oh, that's actually, or plus 5% attrition to hostile forces. That's pretty interesting. So in his administri administered commandery, so in uh, this one, yeah. Enemy forces in this province of Pengchang will take attrition while they're in here. Interesting. Um, or maybe it means that if they take attrition, they take 5% more attrition. I'm not sure. Ooh, we got a tunic of divination. And we got the mathematician that was earlier, though. Okay, so let's have a look. Because you over here are my only dude. So we can use this. It's an extra free cunning and a little bit better armor. And it looks slightly snazzier, so... Yeah. Cool. Um, I have this authority thing, but you've already got one. You've already already got one. Uh, I still need, I should give this resolve thing so I can get wedge formation at some point. Why haven't you got that? Have you got something really good instead? Yeah, the income from peasantry is quite solid. Yeah, I'm not that worried about the wedge formation to be honest. Um. Uh, we have got an accessory I could give you, but I'm not too worried about that. You haven't got one of these. What are those? But I'm not going to give you any of those. Okay, so basically, it's it's all it's all good. Um, I have no assignments available. Why not? Tell me. Where is um, Zhao Yun? He's leading it. He's a garrison general. Wait, what? Is he in here? He's not, right? Oh. Is it because he's a... Wait, hold on. But I can raise him, right? Yeah, I can. Okay, I, I gotcha. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. When they're um, administered in a commandery, they can't then also go on assignment. Yeah, obviously. So I can still recruit him. He already has a massive uh, attachment. Administrator. Yeah, we already do that. Okay. Yeah, no, I'll probably use him at some point, but not right now. Um, okay, so now we've got basically what we're going to be having for this turn money-wise, so let's spend it. We should definitely focus on getting the food buildings up here, so let's start with one of those. Um, we're already building a building there. We can build something in Dong, which is not too relevant. We've got an okay amount of food now, not a huge amount. We did lose that um, 
mission one already. The event food that we got basically, so we know exactly where we're at right now, which is good. Um, See, so yeah, we're going for that one here as well. This is going to be a foreign province too. I think getting this up graded is not a bad idea. I think getting towns to level 4 generally is a good thing to do because at level 4 they can't be or they have to be besieged. It's It, it, get, it gets walls at level 4 essentially and right now it looks like Chen is actually the only one I haven't got at level 4. Even that one that I just took is level 4. Okay. Um, this is all part of the same province. I am going to attack this guy at some point probably with this army. So I'll take that, probably attack them and then I might attack them as well depending on if they've got any relations of anyone. Z wrong. Uh, no, not that I can tell, so that should be okay. Hey, you guys, would you mind if I join your um, your thing now, by the way? Uh, can I join your alliance? Kong Rong says yes, the other one says... Oh, God, 0.7! He's cr quite close as well now. I bet you he's going to come over just as he leaves it, and he's like, nah, actually, I, d I don't want you anymore. And he's like, yeah, you can come in. But then it's still only a one. So yeah, it obviously needs to be a majority vote, so if Liu Dai was actually positive as well, I think, I haven't explained this before, but I think it was pretty clear from when I was trying to get him to make say yes to me. Um, but yeah, basically, two people say yes, then, um, actually, I think if two people say yes, I'm not actually sure that works or not. Maybe if two people say yes and the other one says no, then they leave the, the confederation, not the confederation, the, the coalition. I don't know how that works exactly, but either way, they won't say no, uh, yes to me right now anyway. They all love me, to some degree at least. Um, how strong are you now? You're, you're strength rank 1 now. Dong Min was rank 2. Or they were rank 1 and they were rank 2, okay. Sun Jian, rank 7, okay. That's also similar though. So, from rank 1 to rank 7 at least is all similar to me in strength apparently. Interesting. When is the... how many more turns, by the way, before I can stop paying one Xiao money? Seven more, okay, well that's unfortunate, but... Once that happens, we're gonna be fucking rich as hell, son! This Toolmaker we took, by the way. Uh, yeah, should definitely upgrade that at some point too, but for the moment I'm happy with the choice that I made. Um, I think we're done here, wouldn't you agree? That's not what I meant to do. Oh, right, yeah, no, I want to look at these guys. Yeah, what's up? Um, I I don't know what exactly I'm looking at here. Would you want to form a coalition with me? No. I don't know why not. I mean, I can check why not, but... Would you take a non-aggression pack? No. One thing that I guess we can do is get a non-aggression pact with Yuan Shao and Sun Jun. Now, Sun Jun might be a good idea because he is right there. We just met him just then. He's going to be a big player. And I don't really want to go south of the river, like I said before. So possibly non-aggression pact, and then we just kind of sweep left instead of south. That makes sense. It's exactly 0, 0 0.0, so I can't get anything out of it, but sure. He likes me a little bit more. Currently I'm minus 10 right now, so that's actually a good thing. But yeah, Yuan Shao wants uh, non-aggression pact as well, but I don't fucking like you anymore, do I? After what you fucking pulled. Ooh, he's actually got that. So he owns this now. Uh, that's... um. Uh, Lu Yang, which is the former capital, he owns that. But yeah, I think he's going to be definitely a potential target for war at some point, so I'm not going to do this at the moment. Um, he wants military access too, he can suck my dick. Actually, let's just see how much he would do for the, uh, do this one. Nah. I'm not going to be able to get much out of him. Um, a lot of maybes on the old coalition. Liu Bei would be a good one that I would do it with, but that's nah, way too much. Uh, military access, Liu, or, uh, Liu Biao, sorry, what did I say earlier? Uh, why is there not anything there? It doesn't even say maybe or anything, it just wasn't there. Anyway, fuck it. Let's go on. Oh, go on then. You want... <sighs> Stop offering me to become your vassal, you shit. You insult us. You insult me with your shitty offer, man. Uh, see, this guy's going to be a bit of a dick, isn't he? Z wrong has declared war on us. That's uh, here. Okay. Fine. I was planning on attacking you anyway, so I suppose that's okay. Liu Bia signed a peace treaty with Yuan Shao. That's fine, I guess. I don't know. Uh, anyway, sure. 
Zerong declared war on Liu Bei, that's us. Privilege. The administrator has a distinguished demeanor and inspires immediate respect wherever, wherever they go. Only recently they were stopped in the street and offered a gift from a noble, no doubt hoping for the approval of one of who appears to be on the road to greater things. We got plus five satisfaction for Guan Yu for five turns. Sure, thank you. Quang Heng. Um, also, I, I appreciate uh, the kind words on the first episode. I totally forgot about this, but yeah, a lot of people have said that so far. Um, it's, it's always kind of funny when people say you are the best out of everyone because, you know, there's no way they watched all of everyone's videos. But a lot of people said that I've got the best pronunciations of the YouTubers that they watched at least. So I appreciate that. Um, I, I, I try, honestly, like, I think it's, I, I used to not really care, but now that I, I, like, people always kept correcting me on Weisugi, for example, in, in Shogun 2, I try to pronounce things properly, because I know it just pisses people off, and I know, and there were also a bazillion comments of people telling me that I was mispronouncing, um, what was his name again? Uh, Ta Tao, uh, Tao Chang, or something, I can't even remember what it was, but, yeah, Tao Chan, I think, which I already figured out earlier, um, so on episode 3 I think I started pronouncing it properly, but obviously people on episode 1 didn't know that, so there was like 5 comments, people saying, uh, it's actually Tao Cheng, not Tao Quan, or whatever the hell I was saying at the time. Anyway, um, okay, so here's, we got kind of a dilemma at this point, because we're now at war with this guy, so I can't really go off this way anymore. I mean, this army is on its way, but it's not there yet. So we're gonna have to take that, and then I guess we take that, and then we take that. There's also, what is this? Is that, oh, that's also the same province, wait. That's owned by Han Empire. Wait, hold on. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, hold on. Sorry. This is a completely different province, right? Never mind. Okay, so yeah, it's this This is the city, and then this is the... And then there's the town. Okay, okay that's perfect. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, okay, well, I'm not going to move on the town just yet. I'm going to stay in my own territory so I can get a little bit more replenishment, as well as uh, not lose a bazillion supplies for being in enemy territory during winter. Yeah, we can't really go off this way, because if I do that, then they will just come over here and attack me. So I'm kind of thinking that I may have to just... Relax for a turn. Have we got any fucking... No. Still no strategist besides the one that we've already got. How unfortunate. I could try and chase this, this army down, I suppose. I'm also going to actually get a non-aggression pack with you guys, if you'll take it. Uh, ew, that's a lot of money for her. Eee! Uh, do you need it? Do you need any food? Very poor on food. I've got some food for you, my friend. What about like free food? Oh, that's way more. That's fun. that's fucking fantastic. All right, one and a tiny bit of money then. Is this gonna make? Yes, I, I wish it changed that. CA, change that. One thing that people want to see changed. No one's commented on my video. It's not really relevant yet. But people that are in the Discord as well. Sorry, not request to make. Uh, one people. One thing people want to see changed, and I agree totally with it. Um, that's a lot better, yeah. I'll, I'll give you that much for non-aggression. Is, um... Uh, when... We're gonna see it right here, actually. Well, actually, no, because these guys aren't in Force March Dance. So when you're in Force March Dance, you can still run away when you get attacked. I think they sh you shouldn't be able to. I think if if you are already in Force March Dance, and, uh, or an AI army, it's more likely that the AI is gonna be the one in Force March Dance, and then you attack the AI army, they shouldn't be able to then run away even further from you, because it'll be impossible to catch them, basically, especially in your own land. So I can't, I think it, they definitely should be able to, or shouldn't be able to move any further once they are in Force March Dance. And the same goes for you, if you put your army in Force March Dance, march into enemy territory, and you get caught, your mistake, right? You shouldn't have been forced March Dance in the first place. So I think that's definitely something that should see changing, but whether it will or not is completely... You know, don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna attack this guy. He's gonna run away and I will be able to catch him, but... Still try and just kind of make sure he doesn't do anything annoying. He can't really do much with those two units, to be fair, but... I, I might even just help out over here with this army. Uh, we got some money. It's probably an easier way to do this. See which towns we can build something in. These are basically the same towns, aren't they? Um, there was a town where I was going to switch things up in that the, this one. Yeah, I need to remember to do that. At some point, we're going to remove these buildings and make food buildings instead. For the moment, however, it's okay. Uh, let's do our, our capital commander, I guess. Is this our capital, by the way? It is. The, when the name is here, I think... No, never mind, that's not it. 
There is a way to f check what is your capital, though. Is this it? It is. Taishan is our capital. We can't change it for five grand, which I probably will do at some point, make it a little bit more central, like Donghai, or maybe even, like... I don't know, it depends on how far, like, how many towns we take, I guess. But right now, Donghai is pretty central once we've taken these towns, anyway. Um... Because, yeah, if we if we eventually declare ourselves Emperor, and this is our capital, and, and you want shouts like, right there, and he's one of the free, for example, as well, and then we get, get fucked. Anyway. Um, yeah, let's upgrade this building. And also upgrade the town, but, nah, I don't have that much food right now. I need to make more food buildings, although I am on, on, on that already. Um, 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 on that right now. Okay. Um, any diplomacy? I don't think so. No one wants to be unified by me. <laughs> what a surprise. Uh, Yuan Xiao. Oh, Yuan Xiao doesn't want uh, military access anymore, which is interesting to note. I should actually check this again because this keeps changing quite drastically. Can I join now? Oh, I can. Okay, so I don't know exactly what happens. If we propose this, Yuan Xiao likes us more as well, so I'm assuming I will just straight up join it. Can I join the Alliance of the Darkening Moon, please, guys? I think I think it's the truth to say yes, but I don't know if he leaves it or not, which would be bad, because he's the one I want to keep on my good side, you know? Um, but yeah, I'll propose that. Deal side. Okay, so now... Yes, okay, you're still in it, so we are all... I'm, I'm also part of it now. We also have a war target uh, available with you. Because we share, I guess, the Han Empire. I can tell you to attack this or something. Are you not at war? You're not at war with, you're not at war with anyone! Oh my god, it's a good thing I joined this fucking confederate, or, um, coalition then. You're with Liu Biao. Can you stop that? I like Liu Biao. Alright. Oh fuck, so I'm also at war <laughs> with Zhang Yan now. Which is pretty irrelevant. I mean, he's not that far away. He's, uh, in fact, he's right here. That's uh, closer than I he's right here. That's that's really close, actually. Well, let's hope that he doesn't uh, attack me. Okay, now I can see all their territory as well. That's interesting. Oh, there's actually an army here, so I gotta keep an eye on that too. Um, it's freaking two full stacks of uh, Yuan Shao. Wait, can I see all of his land? Because if that's the case, he's not that strong. He's got two town or two uh, armies. Where's his army? Unless he's still recuperating from the time I fucked him in the asshole. Okay, there's Kong Rong ha ha hanging out in Dong Lai. Um, and you're kind of hanging out in there as well. Okay, I feel like we're not that weak compared to them. He's only got like half a stack as well. He's only got one town to be fair, but still. If this is all of Yuan Shao's la land, which it looks like it is, we we I don't know how he's so much stronger than I am. Unless I'm like number three on the on the strength meter, but even then. What's this then? I, oh, we're better friends with Kong Rong. That's good. I really want to confederate Kong Rong at some point. Just get this land under my uh, belt. It'd be nice. Anyway, uh, this is not going to happen now. Everyone's going to like me more, though, in that confederate er, coalition. Oh. Zhang, Yan, Zhang Jiang also declaring war on me. War is declared! Zhang Jiang has declared war upon us. Your ministers are making all necessary preparations to return hostilities and your generals stand ready <laughs> on the other side of our land. They are confident and eager to put these pretenders to routes. You may invoke defensive packs for your alliance to assist you in this war. So I can I can escalate it to an alliance war. Oh, she she declared war on me specifically. She didn't even why? <laughs> she I didn't even know you. Uh, okay, so here if I do this, does it automatically like I think they have to then also say yes or no, and if they say no, they leave the con the coalition. Uh, I'm still gonna do it. That's one of those wars I really don't want to fight myself, to be honest. Not a Russian pack with Han Fu. Where the fuck are you, Han Fu? Han Fu? Oh, yes, you're up here. Uh, You're just some guy. Are you at war with anyone? You're trading with one Yuan Shao? Also, are we still all... Yeah, okay, everyone said yes, I guess. Or I don't know, maybe it is automatic. I haven't learned enough about the game yet to understand coalitions that much um i don't know this is a fair bit of money it's eight oh wow he really wants it we share mutual enemies oh do we yeah the han fucking empire i mean sure all right i'll take some money over time though um fuck tons of it please 
yeah, this is a lot better than what I would have gotten if I just asked him for money normally. Give me your money, my friend. Come on. There we go. 216, so I got 2.1k out of it. Um, yeah, I guess. I'm not, yeah, I mean, for now, I don't really want to go north yet. I mean, I just joined a fucking coalition with Yuan Shao, so I'm not going to declare war on him yet. West is definitely the way I'm looking to go right now. I want to keep friends to the north of the, of the Yellow River and to the south of the Yangshe River. There's there's a bunch of rivers. I can't remember the name of them. I think this one is the Yellow River, but I don't know which one that this is. But either way, yeah, I think basically keeping between the lines. We're coloring in between the lines. So I think that's a good plan. I'll take that. Yeah, I agree. See, you're going to be a little bitch, but so be it. Zhang Zhang declared war on Liu Bei. Kong Rong joined the war against Zhang Zhang, and so did everyone else. Liu Biao signed a peace treaty with Liu Dai. Wait, didn't that happen a couple turns ago? What the? Am I going crazy? We built a city and a land surveying office. Okay, so here... This province is going to just be money, I think. Because the Lumber Yard's industrial, I think it gives money. Fishing Board does give food, but eh. Um, so I think... Uh, I could go for the private workshops, which gives more income from commerce, like percentage-wise. What other buildings are there that give actual commerce income, though? Uh, that's income from p Pissantry. I don't think there's any more commerce income we also should make like one of these buildings in every single town to get our prestige up but i'm not too worried about that right now 10 percent income from all sources is not bad though it's like an overall okay building and it's nice to get our uh, our level up fast but not too fast because i don't want to declare myself emperor just yet you know um anyway i think um i think the private workshops make sense you can upgrade that to give a ton of income from commerce That's interesting. This one just costs 10 more upkeep, but it's like way better. And it requires more stuff, but... Can I? Oh yeah, I can. Lumber. That shouldn't be too difficult to acquire. Yeah, I'll build that. Sounds good to me. Um, okay. We've got uh, the city in Langye. Oh, sorry, the land surveying office here was done. Right, yeah, we're going to keep doing stuff here. So let's get that one now. And then at Taishan, we can upgrade that. That's the only thing we can do. Sure, I don't think we've got any t uh, battles right now. So yeah, I can reach him again, and then he's going to just run away again. I just, like, no way I'm going to be able to catch. Also, this is the... Yeah, this is the Yangshe River, so I was right about that. Uh, I would take two turns to get there. I think we're just going to take this army and do it instead. Right. There's no one there, as expected. Um... I think we'll back you off over here. Prepare for attacking this at some point. In fact, I can get there next turn if I just move right now. Oh, except I... Yeah, okay, I don't know what that... Okay, we'll see. It'll be fine. Uh, You can fuck right off now, please. Please, fuck off. Okay. We got a reform, finally. It's been a while. Okay, what have we got here? What have we got here? Let's see here. Um, okay, we have to look individually and kind of add it up. So we got lots of fucking industry income right there. That's a lot of peasantry, but to be fair, it's 115. It's just got a massive multiplier. Uh, more peasantry. How much peasantry is there? 47. That's not much. 95 there. That's a lot of commerce and a lot of industry again. 200 from industry. Uh, a lot of commerce, a lot of industry again. I think we got quite a bit of industry income. I think increasing industry income is probably um, best. But let's have a look at what our options are. Because so that's commerce, that's building upkeep is nice, but not as much right now. Income from peasantry, available administrative opposition, which is quite good as well, actually. That might even be worth it. Um... Okay, so right now the only option actually is actually... Income from commerce industry is later. Um, 
I also really want to get all the food stuff over here, though. We can get a lot of food. We can sell the food off, and that will make us loads of money over time as well. Then again, we're getting to the point in the campaign where everyone probably has enough food anyway. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people will do. Just the smaller fractions won't. Um... 10% from commerce. I mean, how much are we making off commerce? Maybe what if it's if it's 500, we get like an extra 50. It's not really a big deal. Let's just start going for this. I don't know if I care about that specific building, but I do care about the extra food we're going to be able to get. Because we only have five food, to be fair. So we do actually, at some point actually need those for ourselves as well. Okay. Uh, so next turn we take that and we take this probably. We may have to siege him out, but fair enough. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Still no. Um, still no uh, watching columns available, unfortunately. No uh, scholars, strategist, there is the one. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> oh, they all said no. <laughs> uh, should declare war on me. Got the full 1984. The Alliance of the Darkening Moon is like, actually, I was wrong about you. Can I have some peace, please? And then everyone's like, nah. We're backing our boy up. So even if I said, uh, yeah, I'll take peace now, it wouldn't matter because they, they, there's free votes in favor of, or in, uh, not in favor, basically. Yuan, Sha, uh, Yuan Shu, sorry. Um, since I'm mates with your brother and you guys hate each other, I'm probably not going to take your non-aggression pack because you're west of me, so you're in my way, unfortunately, for you. I do dare spurn you. See, there's Zhang, Yan, uh, Zhang Yan, I think that is. Bit scary. See, here's that situation, right, where Shen Zhen formed the coalition of Liu Yao, Yao, and that's this guy right here. Okay, that's fine with me. Yellow Turban Rebellion in Yanmen has appeared. General, indeed. Enemy messenger arrives with news that one of your generals allowed themselves to be captured by the enemy. As you read, read the messenger awaits the return of your decision. So yeah, I can have my wife murdered. <laughs> or I'll pay the ransom, I guess. Generals prove they're worth a thousand fold over the ransom demanded. I mean, to be fair, she beat Yuan Shao in single combat, so I'd say that's uh, she 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 she's proved their worth. Uh, anyway, so this is the case where, right, if I could reach this army, which I can do, they can then they can just back off, and I might not be able to reach them again. Either way, though, I'm gonna let them be because I can reach this town instead, which is a little bit more interesting to me right now. Um, I'm a little bit worried about Zhang Yan, who's got an army right here. That's not that far away from Dong. And the garrison here is pretty... Eh, actually, it's okay. Oh, of course! So that's how that works. Hold on, so what about... In here, it's not the same, right? Okay, I gotcha. So, that's cool. If you have an administrator... Uh, if they're a general, fine, they're a general. But they're still also an administrator. They still got the effects. If they're not a general, however... They are actually a garrison in the army. It's a weird fucking garrison unit. I guess it's whatever you give him, essentially. He may, he may have already come with these units. But yeah, that's cool. So if we get attacked in Dong, we actually have him as a garrison there. That's pretty solid. So you can actually have just straight up like free general. Well, not free general. No, oh, yeah, they would be free. Because I don't think I pay upkeep for his his, uh, his units. I pay upkeep for him, obviously. But you pay upkeep... So, so I could recruit a bunch of dudes from the court. And just make him administrators and stuff just to have a better, bigger garrison. That's interesting. Anyway, uh, I'll figure out what I can do and what I can't do so that can go away. Right, so let's do the battles first because that's going to give me some more money. I'll take this port. Thank you for the port. I don't know how she managed to get herself captured, by the way. But it's just a random event. Alright, so now we've got that, which gives us a bunch more food. Even though our food is still on 6, so we must have just gone down a little bit of food. I guess we finished the city, didn't we? Okay, so yeah, that's just sort of going to be food. And then eventually we can choose either more food or less food. This doesn't cost any upkeep. And it gives 100 income from commerce. Okay, so you can actually get some commerce income here as well. Um... Currently, I'm not seeing any reason to ever go for this choice. I guess it's just, again, that you need um, whatever that is. Lumber. That's just wood, right? So we have a lumber mill. We get one of those, which I think we are about to get one anyway. Wasn't there one, like, here somewhere? In this, I think this is a, a lumber mill. Um, so then, yeah, that's not a problem, is it? I think there's a lumber. Yeah, there's a lumber yard right there. We can't take that one. 
But yeah, that's that's pretty good. So I can I mean other than that, the only differences are that this one you pay 80 upkeep for, this one you don't. It gives two food less, but eh, two food. And it gives a hundred extra commerce uh, income. So you, first of all, you pay 80 for this one. This one you don't pay for, and you get a hundred income from commerce. So that's 180 difference. Reserve capacity is the same, but you're building construction cost reduction is the same. Units are slightly different, but I think these ones are actually better because these are spear warriors and spear guard as opposed to G militia, which is what these ones get a lot more of. And it's got a couple, and yeah, it's probably the same actually, just in a different order. Um, yeah, this one looks way better. So eventually we're going to get income from here as well. So I might not even switch these buildings over, honestly. Uh, I will not upgrade this right now, I don't think. So we command, secure the commandery. We're a battle there, or a friends now because of battle. Sweet. The level up as well. Didn't even notice that. All right, what do you got? Uh, avoiding ambush and ignore forest penalties for retinue. Retinue. Um, unlocks assignment count. Uh, I don't know. This is, that's pretty shit, to be honest. Melee evasion for melee infantry is retinue. That's pretty good. Charge in the gate is really useful. Uh, it means that terror and fear is not really a big deal. That's quite good for him. I think overall, though, I like this upper route more. I kind of don't like this. I don't like either one of these, to be honest, that much. This is okay. I mean, the force penalties, you don't really get force penalties for infantry, is the thing. Charge speeds for some retinue. I wonder if that really helps on infantry as well, but <laughs> I guess we'll see. Uh, Alright, what can we do here? Uh, I'm not too worried about that building. Let me just actually have a look at this. Donghai. Donghai is... Oh, it's minus food. Yeah, that's fine. We actually have minus happiness in Yang Zhao, which is our recent... Yeah, probably because of we just... Def yeah. Oh, yeah, actually, the hostile forces here are kind of fucking me over. Well, so be it. Um, also, oh, this farmland... Oh, yeah, we couldn't take that because we're trading with him. We need to probably stop trading with him at some point so we can attack him. You probably have other people we could trade with at this point anyway. Uh, let's yeah, let's build something in this open slot, which will be. Uh, I feel like income from peasantry is not a bad thing. It gives minus public order, but we probably do want this building. It's our unique building as well, so I really ought to make use of it. But especially in places like this, where I have um, him giving me an extra bit of income from peasantry as well. And I don't really know what else I'd want to build. I do want to get a grain storage in every province, I think. But I'm not too worried about that right now. So actually, for the moment... I mean, the shopkeeper and Ian are such good buildings as well. But I think, yeah, we'll go for... How much happiness am I getting here? Six from people in power. Two from population. So the bigger the population becomes, the more people will be unhappy. It's actually almost full already. But uh, we'll build it for now. It's also free, which is nice. Nice little addition. Um, what else? I guess we'll just build something in Donghai here. Let's get that, because why not? Still build something here. Do I do the same here? Um, yeah. I don't know. I have a little bit more unhappiness here, but we'll be okay soon. Alright, let's go take this level 3 so there's no walls here actually. That's another Arzolf. Thanks for the town. Appreciate it. Ah, now I can properly see Sunjen. There's even trade available. He has lots of trade available. So yeah, I think stopping trade with this guy might be a good idea simply so I can trade. Uh, we're receiving payment from him, so I need to wait three more turns before I do that, though. But then we can trade with Sunjen instead. Which will also reinforce our relationship a little bit. Make it less likely he's going to declare war on me. I'm not trading with you, so I can't attack you, except you are a vassal of Liu Biao, whom we're trying to be happy with, or friendly with. Uh, that is... Okay, Han Empire stuff we can still take, no problem. And of course, we're going to be busy taking this for a bit, but that's going to be her job. But yeah, we're kind of at a end here. We can't really attack anyone anymore except for the Han Empire stuff. And also, you want to show as many his way across the river, so he's actually he stopped drawing within the borders. The little bitch. Uh, okay, this is actually that tax collector building, which I 
don't know if I want that here. There are lumber yards, so this is probably getting, well, it's got a fishing port too, so we can focus on commerce and industry and food if we want. Like, we could do whatever we want. Wait, why am I destroying that one? The fuck? Don't do that. Demolish the other one then. Uh, okay. I think that sounds good for now. So this army is going to replenish a little bit, probably attack him first. Then go over to to take this town here. There's probably a large garrison or army in there. There's actually probably a large army in here as well. We'll have to kind of figure out what happens there. See if they appear or not. We had something to build in Lange. I may have actually built this one. Oh. For a, second, for a second I was like, wait, are you declaring war on me? What the fuck's going on here? Um... Okay, so we're going to war with a yellow tur turban rebellion. I will accept. Uh, if I say no, oh my goodness, <laughs> there's a lot of fucking results. Because holy shit, you lose like minus two hundred and thirty-four when Liu die. If I say no, <laughs> Liu die really fucking hates it if you don't attack uh, yellow turban rebels. What the fuck? He said no. All right, well I'll uh, <laughs> I'll do a yes no, instead then. <laughs> I wasn't planning on saying no anyway, because already, everyone already said yes, so there's like no reason to say no at that point. I think that um, um, bandit army just died. Oh, what the fuck, there's a lot of shit just happened. Yuan Shao declared war on Yuan Shu, there you go, that's a big one. He declared a single war though, not like he didn't pull us in. Oh, they're right there against each other, okay. Uh, Yuan Shu declared... Signed a piece of He Yi, who's still out. He, I thought he was like further this way, but apparently he's. I don't know where the fuck he is. I think he starts over in Chen, but he must have been rooted out and now he's somehow still alive elsewhere. Uh, Alliance of Kong Rong declared war on the yellow. Yeah, so yeah, it's us declaring war on the right yellow turn rebels. I don't know where they are, but it doesn't matter. Han Fu declared war on Zhang Yan, so he got his army just fucked, I think. Huang Zhu requested their masterly of Biao to go to war. Okay, so they are. Uh, at war with yeah, if he, which is probably not pronounced he, by the way, but I don't know how. A porcelain cup, that's pretty sweet. Uh, expertise, satisfaction, and reserves. Okay, hold on. So you, can I like, no. You probably need that. You've already got that. Oh yeah, you don't have an even, even have an army, so let's give this to you instead. And then we'll get the replenishment cup to someone else, although I can't do that right now. Um, because it's like, uh, yeah, it takes a turn to be ready, so we'll do that next turn. So, okay. Uh, all the diplomacy things can go away. We are friends, Liu Dai and Liu Bei. I did marry his daughter. Ooh. What the? I Oh, yeah. Wait. This is interesting, because Cao Cao isn't dead, right? So he's actually still... He... <laughs> he joined Han Empire! <laughs> So so. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Everything we fought for in the coalition, and now you joined them? Okay, so Cao Cao is actually um, in the Han Empire right now. Uh, that's interesting. Also, can I reach this in one turn? Well, oh, I can. Let's take, take, take that right away as well. What the fuck? <laughs> Cao Cao, you mad lad. What are you doing? So apparently we fought him. Was he garrisoned in that town? I just skipped through it and even check. No way, right? I don't think so. You need to fuck off. Like this army is getting on my nerves. I can actually go back and attack it, but I'd rather just wait. He could attack this. Actually, he probably win against this too if he were to do that. Hmm. Well, we can. If he does that, we just turn back and take it back again. I'll waste whatever money I'm putting on on upgrading this right now, but it's okay. I have no assignment. Oh, I can oh shit, you're not doing your job anymore. You must have pulled back at some point. I didn't even notice. Ambush discovered. Isn't he? I thought he got... Yeah, he got murdered already, though. Uh, okay, that's all fair. Relationship lost, Satsa. <laughs> what the fuck, Satsa? Alright, where am I building, like, lots of shit? Probably in the, like, anything that's new, generally. But I'm just kind of, like, overall building lots of stuff everywhere. But let's put you in here. Good, good luck with that. So what would we have available here? Probably that building last turn. I didn't build it. That's okay. Um, See, so yeah, I don't really know here. I guess since we're already kind of, kind of going for commerce, let's stick with the commerce thing. Oh, we've got to like, get it up to level 4. So let's do that first. Which, actually, that will be a massive waste of money if he then attacks and takes it. But 
I don't think he will, but if he does, so be it. Oh, you don't like that guy. Oh, that's fair enough. All right, let's go take uh, this lumberyard here. That's why you better not be in here, man. Are we reaching the point of the campaign where everything's in order? I hope not. Fuck me, it's an unhappy town. Would-be assassin while establishing control of the newly occupied town. One of your officials is set upon by a particularly burly local. The attacker is a bona fide warrior, but the targeted official is also an ex-soldier, aptly skilled in combat himself. After a spectacular duel, the assailant is eventually subdued and detained. Shang Fei. Nice, the nice one. We got a trait. Determined for Guan Yu. Nice. We still all like each other? No. Uh, he doesn't. They don't like each other anymore, but that's fine. We already knew that. Okay, so we got a lumber yard now, which I think means, yeah, that we have lumber. So that's, you know, needing lumber is not a big deal anymore at all. Also, this gives peasantry income. I thought it was in the industry. But that's okay. Uh, yeah, that's okay. It does change things a little bit. Because I had it, I had things in mind, I think, for for example, Langye. I was kind of building it to make me income from commerce and industry and stuff. Where actually it's going to be peasantry that's going to be the income from here. From the lumber yard. And then the fishing port is going to be commerce. So I guess it, it kind of works out. There's no need to go full on peasantry because of that. I mean, this is still fine. I probably don't have to min max every single province either to be honest but i like to at least have an idea of what the fuck i'm supposed to do because at some point someone could probably make a list of exactly which building you need to make in which province because there's, it's all stationary right you know which resources in which province so you probably never have a reason to make the wrong buildings like you should probably always build the right ones but it's not a big deal anyway we got a little bit of money left over but we only have one building to build in Langye, which is that one, so I guess, yeah, fuck it, let's get it done now. Which means I should have done it last turn, but oh well. This army is fairly well replenished, I can replenish a little bit on the way as well. Let's go see if I can take this, because honestly, I, I would imagine there's a large army in here, because if he's only got the one town, he's, he's going to be in there, right? So I don't know exactly if that's going to be winnable or not. If it's, a, if it's a stack like this, plus the garrison, we probably just siege him out until they attack me, or... So it takes so much attrition, it's not a problem anymore. Uh, any fucking agents yet? Nope. Alright, fair enough. Uh, also, probably got another one of these. Uh, three more turns, okay. I was going to say, probably got one soon. Not now, but... Okay. Uh, you want my water clock? No, that's worth a lot of money. I don't want another question with you anyway. But you're to the north. Although we are friends, actually, going since Zan and I. Oh, fuck me. She's sailing up the river to attack me, little bitch. I'll fuck you up. Okay, yes, he's backing off again. Alliance war against Han Empire. Well, I'm already at war with the Han Empire, so I'm not too bothered about that. Kong Rong doesn't want that, but hey, I'm all up for it. Kong Rong doesn't like it. If I reject it, then Kong Rong likes it, and Liu Dai and Yuan Shao don't like it. It's kind of... <sighs> Why am I even supposed to fucking vote here? I'm already at war with them. This is not a choice. I don't want to lose 61 happiness with Kong Rong. I'm trying to make him confederate with me. This isn't going to help. But... Do I take a hit on 25 of each of those? They don't like me as much. Nah, no, fuck it. I'll take the one off. I, uh... Yeah. Wait, did Kong Rong leave the coalition because of that? I'm not sure. Sun Jian requested... Okay, so they're at war with the Han Empire. Li Yao declared war on Dong Min. That's fine. Dong Min signed a peace treaty with Zheng Jiang. That's not good. Dong Min signed a peace treaty with Kong Rong. So is that... Does that mean he's not no longer in the coalition? Uh, Vassal has joined the war. Han Fu declared war on Yale Turban Rebellion. Alliance of Liu Dai. Alliance with Liu Dai left by... Okay, so our alliance is no longer... Well, Kong Rong is no longer in it, I think. I'll check that. Also, I didn't realize we were in a fucking alliance state already. I thought we were just a coalition. Are we... Are we military allies? Hello? We are! Wait a second, I thought it was just a coalition I joined, but apparently I joined a military alliance. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, what if I just ask, um... Wait, no, not this, sorry. Uh, sorry. Soz. Hey, Kong Rong. You wanna join our alliance? Oh, they, oh wow, they really... <laughs> fucking 100 
<laughs> opinion of this idea. They don't want this fucking guy in here. Get this Kong Rong out of here. Who's Kong Rong? Alright, you want to unify with me? Oh my goodness, that's quite close, actually. Holy shit, there's anyone I can actually do that with? See, the problem is I think it's gotta be a yes. There's no maybe. Because it might be super close, like Kong Rong is only 12. Like, I could obviously... I could you know, give him some money for it, but you can't. I think that probably is a good thing, because in Warhammer 2 it never made sense to me how when you confederate with someone, you can influence the deal by giving them money. Which makes no sense, because they become you, essentially. So why, if you give them money, don't you just immediately get that money back? And why can't you give them money in the first place? Because they are part of your faction afterwards, so it doesn't really make sense, unless you give it to their personal bank account, but that just seems weird, right? So I think it makes sense that you can't influence it whatsoever. You just kind of have to, you know, it's either a no or a yes. You can't say, oh, I'll give you some money for it. But he's like, yeah, but, you know, I'm joining you. So it's just your money again, isn't it? So this is fine. Um, oh, 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 wait, 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 that's, that's important right there. Okay, that can go away. All the diplomacy shit can fuck off. Fuck off, guys. This guy. I'm hiring him immediately. Just recruit. I think. I don't think, I don't want to... Put him in an army necessarily. I mean, I do. Is it time for Zhao? Uh, Zhao? I've forgotten names now. Uh, Zhang Fen, Zhang Fei, Zhang Fei. There we go. <laughs> I got there in the end. <laughs> Is it time for Zhang Fei to leave the army? Um. It very well might be. It very well might be. All right, I'm going to. Uh... Let's see here. If I swap with this guy, I can't keep the. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll I'll delete all these units because I'm I I would I would re-recruit them anyway to be different units. Like, actually, he's probably going to make an appearance in this army very soon as well, or an army anyway. No, not this one actually. He's going to make a third army with um, Guan Yu probably. So actually, really, it should be him that leaves. <laughs> Fuck off. Um, no, it's okay for, for now. So yeah, you're gonna lose all your units. Let's dis disband all these shits. Fuck off. Because I don't want to re-recruit him later on, because I'll just be paying money for them, and then I'll switch them over anyway. So it doesn't, there's no point keeping these units in here. That said, I could have kept the two swordsmen, because I would have recruited two swordsmen in his arm. No, I would have probably recruited two spearmen in here, so that's fine. Right, and then you are going to get swapped with Mr. Li... Oh, fuck, no one likes Li Chao. I should have checked that. They hate him. Fuck. Um, that's really annoying. Okay, hold on. Well, I'll still recruit him. Uh, come into my faction. Oh, fuck, my, he's level, he's level four. Mad lad. Oh, he could be a spy. Wait, what's his name? Was it Lee? Liu? Oh, it's Lee. No. Oh, he doesn't like me. Very much at all. Desires higher core position. Alright, here you go. You still want a higher core position. Well, you know, can't all have what we want, man. Okay, so you've got ranged armor piercing damage and ranged firing rate and commanding. That's good. Flaming shot for his retinue. That's solid. Uh, sure, go to the deployment chance of ambushing, and the buff, okay. Right, if we can get, like, I don't know if that's actually possible for him, he, doesn't, he can't get the replenishment one. Oh, we definitely want to get that one. Okay, so we, we're not going to get the range firing rate from commanding, because he's not going to be the commander in an army, I don't think, but... Uh, okay, let me check here real quick, just out of curiosity, if I were to switch you out, um, do you... Uh, wait, sorry, no, this guy. Okay, so he doesn't like... Oh, it doesn't say about Zhang Fei. Oh, he doesn't care about Zhang Fei, of course, okay. So he could be in an army with Zhang Fei. Right, the, the thing is... Do we like this guy? Because then I could possibly switch him over into the other army, but I don't know if they like him or not. He's beautiful, understanding, and modest. Um... Okay, so let's see here. Attractiveness, madness, carelessness, superstition, patience, impulsiveness, honor. I think honor is probably one that we do match on. Oh. Um, friendship, kindness, honor. Okay, so they that's one thing that they 
worked together on already. You also have honorable, so that's good. Okay, so here's the thing. It's kind of awkward now because I kind of already committed to this plan. Basically, she's gonna have to take this and then switch him out. For, actually, would you? Fuck, I didn't even check this one yet. Do you guys accept this fellow? Uh, okay, it would be John Young would be fine with it, but Liu Humin Humin wouldn't. So it's still not perfect, but it's better than having two people dislike someone. Okay, so I think that's what we'll go for. So we got to take this town, which hopefully again should be doable. Is that? Okay, we'll have to see sell it out for now. I think or siege it out. I mean, they'll probably sell it out immediately. So that's the plan, and then we. So it's going to have to all be delayed by a turn, basically, which sucks, because I already got rid of the units. I'm going to have to basically do this, like, take this town. Then she's going to have him get replaced by the other guy. We recruit his retinue, and then the next turn we can put him in here, and then we're fine. And then Zhang Fei is just going to not have an army for the moment, but that's okay. We'll pop him in elsewhere at some point. Okay. Definitely makes the army worse overall, but it also gives us, you know other units. So I'm also going to then start changing you guys over immediately. Might as well not delay on that. So no arcs in this army right now. Okay. Uh, I can still build some buildings. I can upgrade Dax. That's free. Minus six public order in... Uh, where is this? Can I like zoom to it? This is Peng Cheng. There we go. Uh, we've got only one public order. So let's not build another one. Wait, what is that from? Population. Oh, yeah, population's not good. And here is still actually minus happiness because of that asshole running around, so I definitely can't do it here. Even if they were to go away, I could then build it and it would be exactly zero. But if eventually population is going to grow here and then they'll get pissed off as well. So if this army gets out of the province, we'll be fine. But right now I'm not going to do that. I can put a guy in spy, but that that's the guy I want to use, so I'm not going to do that. He doesn't like you on shoe. Utterly dissatisfied whilst a, a general, okay. Interesting. Um, okay, I think we got it figured out. We just gotta do this battle first. Which hopefully they'll sally out at me. Eh, if they don't, we get to see it, sell it, siege them out for a while. Okay, that's good. They kind of won there, but... <laughs> He's trying to join back in again. Uh, look, guys, I'm sorry about that. Uh, not wanting to go to war with the Han Empire, but kind of join back, and they're like, "Fuck you, no way." I'm like, "Yeah, I mean, you can join, but sorry, man. These guys said they don't want it. Damn it, they don't want peace with, with you on Xuan uh, Yang, so I can't join. I can't say yes." So. How, why do I get a vote when things that don't matter, but I, I don't get a vote in things like that that also don't matter? That seems weird, right? Because in, in the question of do I join the war against the Han Empire, which I'm already at war with, I get a choice. Um, but now, in this thing, which is completely irrelevant as well, I don't get a choice. Uh, Gongshin Zan declared war on Gongshin Du. Uh, they're at war with the Yellow Turn Rebellion. Hang Zhu joined the war as well. Pestilence and disease take hold amongst the men. They spread murky and potent through the ranks. We must work to quell the faction before it jeopardizes the attack or worse kills us all. It's like uh, minus supplies or something, because I noticed the supplies here are pretty fucking harsh. Nope, it's just because it's winter. Fair enough. How far my favor is it now? A little bit more, but still not fantastic. I really would have liked to have taken that by now, to be honest. Uh, we got an ancillary. Speaking of ancillaries, we're going to give you the replenishment one. And what else we got? So we got that eavesdropper, I don't really care about that. Got a trait, honest, for Tao Fu. Wait, we got a kid? Wait. Oh shit. Oh no, we lost past events. With Xiao Yun. No. We're becoming less friendly. Nice diplomacy with Yuan Xiao though. Hold on, we got a kid? No one told me about this. It's a kid. Someone have informed me about it, having a kid. Wait, no, I don't have a kid. What the fuck? What's this then? Tao Fu. Wait, who the hell is Tao Fu? I can make him my chancellor. No, I can't. What the fuck is going on? Is there something I'm missing here? He doesn't have the Liu name, so he can't be my kid, right? 
I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> Who the fuck is Tao Fu? There's a baby somewhere and I don't know who he is. Well, he's honest. <laughs> he's an honest baby, so... <laughs> Did you take the candy? Yeah, it was me. Alright. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, but it was me. I ate it. Um, anyway. We got a building we can build here in Chen. This is the uh, massive fucking farm place, so we need anything that gives us more food. Which we already have all the buildings for. How happy is this place? Pretty. Alright, let's go for the shoe on tax collection then. Free fucking buildings. Free real estate. Uh, here, yeah, we can't do it. I already checked that. Um, what else do you want to do? This place is still... I mean, that guy is about to fuck off. Oh, see, we already got minus one for population for it growing just now, so that's that's what happens. Um, Just just build something, man. Just fucking get it on. Let's build this income one. Sure, why not? Takes a couple turns. Get, get something done. Get it done. Right, so here, the thing is, do we want to go full-on food, or do we want to go kind of half and half? So, can I go 100% food in, uh, production, 100% income from peasantry? Or we can go 150% food production, 50% income from peasantry. Since this gives us no income from peasantry, even at max level, I think make uh, going for full-on food makes more sense. I'm going to go for that one. Uh, and that's most of my, almost all of my money, in fact, spent, so that's that well, works out well. I'd have liked to have gone on the offensive by now here, but I might still do that, to be honest. Even if we haven't got a full army, I think we'll be okay. Hopefully. Can you just fuck off out of my land already? Because you're really ruining- Oh, you're taking mass attrition, holy shit. You might just evaporate at some point, at some point before our eyes. Before our very eyes! Uh, anyone want anything- oh god. I haven't got another. Oh, I haven't got anything with you anymore. Okay, well, let's do that. Meal. Because of course we were allied and we lost the alliance. So I need to. I need. To, oh my god, he's rich as hell. Otherwise, that wouldn't be a zero point two. He's willing to pay me a lot of money for this random fucking. Wait, I'm like lowering it now. I don't want that. I can probably like because the jump is massive, right? See, I can bring this up to like three hundred, maybe. Not quite. 295. 290, then it's fine. Alright. Like that for Need just a non aggression pact is pretty solid, I'd say. Anyone want to unify yet? No. Uh, I can get. Offer subvert. I can become a subverdian to him. No thanks. Alright, I'll take non aggression. Or I'll take a military access of you again. Because we had this shit before, but we lost it. Because he decided not to join us anymore, I'm not going to bother trying to get money out of that. Need a tier, um, I can get non-aggression with a lot of people, actually. But, uh, what strength ranking are you? Four? You're actually up there as well. Not too shabby. You're not at war with uh, Yuan Shao. I don't know. Definitely don't want it with you. I need to drop that trade with him at some point. In fact, this might be the time I can do that now. Yo, you. Uh, oh, no, ne next turn. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, so I think... I don't think we, we take this yet. Medium losses. Nah, I'll take another turn of starving him out. I don't want to take that... Like, I don't want to attack the town. I just, if he wants to sell you out to me, great. Quest your military support against Yuan Shu. Uh, Yuan Shu is definitely a target that I'm not too worried about attacking at some point. I don't necessarily want to do it right now. 8.3, I can get a bunch of fucking shit from you, can't I? Give me all your goddamn money and I'll do it. All of it. Oh my god, he's a minus 4 food. I could probably sell him quite a bit of food. Never! <laughs> Alright, let's get... Oh my god, that's actually a fair bit of money. You know what, if, you can also just forget about this debt. Actually, no, this is better if I actually get more out of it. Because we're going to make a massive fucking switch in income next turn. Because this is happening, so we're getting an extra 675, and then that's going away in a turn and a half as well, which is costing me 958 per turn. So all of a sudden, we're going to be making one and a half grand more per turn. 
That's a pretty big shift. And I could probably sell him food as well. I haven't got that much food, but I'll try that next turn. Actually, what if I just threw that in there? Nah, eh, that's actually not that bad. I'll give you like free food for 3.1. Now oh, I gotta fucking min max this again. God damn it. God fucking damn it. Alright, 7-7. Seven, seven. Nah, you know what? I'm not even gonna change that. That's a nice number. So yeah, we're gonna make a lot more money all of a sudden. I'm a little bit low on food, but I think I'm still building some food buildings. Uh, sorry, mate. They don't want it. Like, it's not up to me. He's like, he's asking me personally, and I'm like, dude, it's not up to me. I gotta ask the others, man. Like, I'm sorry, but... You know you know what? You know me and you are buds, but... It's not my choice, is it? Uh, Alright, so I'm at war. Making 4.6 grand, and again, we're gonna get another... Almost a thousand next turn when that goes away. Uh, that said, I am gonna break my trade with him so I can attack him soon, because otherwise I can't untrustworthy. I don't know how long you have to wait. Probably ten turns, I imagine. Um, I'm gonna keep these open for now. Ooh, rank gains for Zhao Yun and uh, Guan Yu. Nice. Okay, well we'll have a look at all that shit next time. So for now, thank you guys for watching. Um, until next time, have a good day and goodbye.